What's going on guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh how you guys been? It's been a it's been a little while since me and Venice have posted together. Venice has been under the weather for a couple days now, so I am kind of picking up her the slack. Uh right now I am currently I am currently at work. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys, but before we do that, to any newcomers coming to the channel, first of all, welcome, and thank you for checking us out. Please, by all means, drop us a like, and give us a subscribe, we'll greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into this topic. All right, all right, so, uh. I wanted to talk to you guys about how fast this year is flying. Or how fast time in general is flying. I can remember one day being in high school. And now here I am 10 years later. I graduated high school 10 years ago in 2009. So any of my friends out there from high school. What's going on with this 10 year reunion? Um... I remember mean, when my daughter was first born. I mean, when me and Venice first got together. Now it's it's like in a blink of an eye. We're nine years in. But um, let's get a little further into depth. Um, along with time flying, my parents used to always tell me. My father, particularly, uh. You got to leave something behind, you know, a legacy. So basically, if anybody doesn't know what a legacy is, a legacy basically is either property or money that is left behind. Property being either storefronts or homes. Um, I currently don't have property as of yet. But it is something that me and Venice have talked about and would be definitely something that we would like to leave behind as our legacy for Brianna and Noah. Now, um, I've been watching, we've been watching DJ Envy and his wife, Gia Casey, um, basically and what he's been doing. He's been going around New Jersey flipping homes oh it doesn't it probably honestly it doesn't matter where in jersey it is he just finds a house or a building or a building sees the potential in it and then puts the money in it and flips it that's something that me and venice have been talking about that we wanted to do for a while now and he's been having you know seminars and stuff but we haven't really gotten the chance to get around to doing it um one day we'll catch it we'll catch one of the seminars there's there's one coming up i believe either this month or next month but we that's something that we are looking into doing in the near future um i remember when i would have the talks with my father that was when you know i had dead end jobs working at home depot I mean, Home Depot was a great job for me. I worked there for three years. I got promoted. They had the option to buy stock. I just didn't take advantage of that. I feel like I'm in a spot now where I've invested in myself as far as getting my CDL, you know, learning how to work with heavy machinery. Me doing that, uh, I can say that it put me in a position to put away a lot of money. To make money and put a lot of money away. If I do it smart, I got to think about it and just put it in my head and just do it. Um, there's a lot of overtime in my job to be made. You could work as many hours a week you want. Uh, like I said, I just got to put it in my head and just do it. Now, here's the thing with me. Um, as I'm 
making the money because this is a the job this is one of the I can say one of the most lucrative jobs I've had as far as you know making money wise so I get my check and I see how much I'm making and automatically I want to just spend it now portions of my check go to you know my car go to insurance go to taking care of the kids I'm learning how to save now, but what I have to do now is invest my savings into something that can make me more money. Now, like I said before with the flipping homes, the seminar DJ MV is having, in my opinion, is one of the best things that anybody can ever invest in themselves in doing. One of these days, me and Venice, we're going to actually have to sit down and talk about what we want to leave behind for the kids. Whether it be our YouTube, you know, when we work our YouTube up and we get to a platform where we're able to, you know, get endorsements. We're able to, be, you know, have sponsors. We're able to, you know, get, you know, ship free stuff and work with different uh, companies and stuff. Um... That's another thing, you know, we could leave behind this, our YouTube channel for our kids and, you know, have them branch off for their own, i.e. Brianna starting her own channel. You know, she's into when she was a little bit younger, she, you know, she watched, you know, a YouTuber named Ryan, Ryan's Toy Reviews. She then decided that she wanted to do that on her own. So we started hers up. We just haven't uploaded any videos yet. We have ideas for her to do. She has ideas for herself to do. And it's, she's she's actually very serious about it. Um. So we just got to get down to business and putting out content for her. And she'll have her platform. But for now, we got to build this platform up just, you know, some more as far as our networking skills, as far as our interaction on our platforms, Facebook, Instagram, you know, we could definitely try to get out there more on Snapchat because I don't even think, well, Snapchat, I don't know if any other YouTubers use Snapchat that much as far as networking, but if you know, if you can be seen through Snapchat, then I guess we could give it a shot. But, yeah, we could leave this behind for them. Venice wants to start her own channel. Well, she has a channel. But, like I said, she has, along with Rihanna, she hasn't put any content out on it. She wants to have hers. Um talking about her makeup and stuff you know how big she is into makeup and that's something that you know i could really you know support with them but like i said before we got to just build this channel up so then we're at a point where we can just like the other youtubers how they just start up other channels and that's all extra income for them and then we could branch off and do put some money into real estate or come out with a clothing line or come out with our own brand of something or work with a brand and be the ambassador or the face of something like a legacy that's that's what it's coming down to I'm, i just turned 27 years old i have a 401k um i have you know my kids venice as my beneficiaries but right now I'm three years I'm almost three years into my career I'm still you know making chump change but it's still pretty good compared to my old jobs but in a couple more years <laughs> I'm gonna be able to put so much away and start investing in so much that uh investing in real estate will be no problem I have friends at my old job because I didn't tell y'all I actually transferred to another borough. 
I don't I don't work in Manhattan no more. I work in Brooklyn. Um, a friend in my old job came to me about uh some real estate, a real estate project that he wanted to do. Uh, basically a way for us to make money outside of, you know, just working MTA. So basically it'll be a group of us, all the guys that we, we hang out with. And we were all putting some money for a, basically uh, like a building or whatever, you know, turn it into a housing complex and furthermore profiting from it, which adds on to the legacy factor. So uh, if you guys have any ideas, if you have any advice, any tips, please, 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 I'm all ears. Let me know. Write it down in the comments. Check us out on Instagram. Write out Instagram. Let us know. Um, as far as when it comes to something like this, I'm like a fly on the wall. But um, please, let us know. Thank you. <laughs>